Check me out or what? Huh? <laughs> this is gonna be a wedding for the books. All thanks to Johnny Boy. All right. All right, that's it. This is real. You are not Kate. You are Connie. I keep having flashbacks. Like the PTSD kind? It's all over the place. The whole room to here just feels like I should say something. Idiot. The boss can't know anything about this. Can't know anything about what? I'm waiting. It's nothing, boss. It didn't sound like nothing. Well, you know Milo, not the best at keeping secrets. Neither are you. Um, it, it, it's a surprise we cooked up for your wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah a big surprise. Okay, save it for later, because I don't want any surprises today. Let go of me! What is wrong I with you? I know what I'm seeing, Connie. I'm Kate. Yeah, you keep saying that. Give me a break with this outfit. Kate would not wear that on Halloween, let alone her wedding day. I, what is going? Have you seen Kate? Uh, not yet, me, but I, I know my mother's with her, helping her get ready. So you picked this dress? As if I'd ever walked on the island this. Yeah, why are you wearing it then? To show Maxie. To ask her why in God's name she chose this as an option for me. You said to err on the side of Connie. This is Connie. Yeah, for Halloween, maybe, but as Liv pointed out, this is my wedding day. Okay, well, there are two other dresses, and both of them are very stunning and very Kate. Let's try those on. Let's not. You can go now. Okay. Oh, um, are you... Firing me? No. I just think Liv can take it from here with the gowns. Why don't you go pass out some crab dumplings or something? Sure. Oh, thank you for helping me out of this whore show. Go, honey. Do you think I picked the right option? You are gonna look stunning. <laughs> I am so sorry. I guess I'm still just a little bit mixed up, or a lot mixed up. I don't know. Everything just... It seems so real, honey. That's the LSD. It's not your fault. You certainly don't have to apologize to me. But I do need you to know how thrilled I am for you and Sonny. I wish you guys a lifetime full of happiness. You both deserve it. Thank you. And I got you something. Oh, yeah? Of course. I'm your maid of honor. <laughs> but don't get too attached to it, because it's just on loan. Right here. Oh, <laughs> how lovely. That was Nona's. Nona's? She made that lace mm. by hand. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I'd like you to carry that mm. with you today. <sighs> you really shouldn't have. No, what are you talking about? It's perfect. It's old, it's borrowed, it's mm. blue, it's new to you. Yeah, at least. it certainly is. <laughs> so. Thank you. you. You really shouldn't have. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. I, I hope it brings you all the good luck and the happiness that it brought to Nona. Oh. Okay. Are you in there? Oh, speaking of bad timing, I you can't see me like this. Let me, let me handle it. Sonny, you know the rules. You can't see the bride before the ceremony. Superstition's gonna have to take a back seat. Can I have a little time with my wife-to-be? What's wrong? You look tense. Nah, it's just, uh, something's been bothering me. I, I tried to reach you last night, and you, I couldn't get through. Oh, I'm so sorry. I turned off my phone. I was just trying to relax. The, the argument, you know, that argument you had with Trey? Speaking of not relaxing. What was it about? Are you serious? Sonny, I told you it was just about him marrying Christina. I disapproved, to say the least. That's it? What else? Well, he, he, he implied there was more to it than that. You're not leaving anything out, right? Okay, something did happen in my conversation with Trey, but I didn't have the heart to tell you. What was it? He said horrible things about you. It was hard enough to hear them, let alone repeat them back to you. That's all that happened? I'm very sorry, Sonny. I never meant to, to keep it from you. I just didn't want to make you angrier. Why does he have to do this today of all days? Hey, hey, hey. No trouble. Are you sure? 
feels like there's something else you want to say. Ah, no, that's it. It's, it can wait. I love you too. <laughs> now get out of here. I got an altar to get to. Oh, well, I think I got one too. <laughs> <laughs> get it, altar? I cracked myself up. Hey, can I add you to a sunny leaf? I've been crying. Oh, just happy. Hey, would you mind if I just had a few minutes to myself? Of course, honey. Come on. <laughs> you just let me know if you need any help with that dress, okay? I will. I didn't think you were going to bring him. Uh, well, actually, I'm with Johnny. Kate asked him to be here. Today? Believe me, it wasn't exactly on the top of my things to do list. But no one's making you stay, Johnny. This is a special occasion. Okay, well, all right. Why don't we take this opportunity to bury the hatchet? Sounds good to me. Yeah, me too. Thank you. Great. I'll go in the back and check on something. Okay. Excuse me. Christina sure. said she's gonna be late. What else is new? Apparently something intense is going on with her and Trey. He finally admitted that he's Scully's son. Willingly? I didn't beat it out of him, if that's what you're asking. What else did he admit to? Wouldn't tell me who his father is, didn't tell me what, what he's planning, but he, he did say he got in a fight with Kate. About what? She said that she was giving him a hard time about Christina. And he started lashing out, but I got, I, I, there's something, I don't I know. I think so. it was something about her being his mother. She, Kate would have told me. When are you going to tell her? Not till after the wedding. Like we said, Alexis. You okay? Well, I'd feel a lot better if, you know, I, I knew that Joe Jr. didn't have anything in store. Apparently, you can't get married without one of these. Oh, yeah. How you feeling? Uh, you know, anxious, nervous a little bit, but with you guys here, I feel great. There's no place you'd rather be. You know what? You and Kate have truly been tested. You fought for the woman you love, and, uh, here you are. <laughs> if that's not worth standing up for, I don't know what is. You know what, what makes me feel great? Is that we're family, right? You guys know that nothing's more important to me than that. And as of today, Kate's a part of that. How do I look? Looks like somebody's about to get married. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey, about time you showed up. You ready, Freddy? No. Huh? That's the wrong answer. Carly's here. Let's party. I can't do this to her. Please. Please what? It's not too late to change your mind. Do anything you want. Anything. Just please, leave Carly out of this. It is so sweet how you try to protect her. Totally futile, but so sweet. Look, Johnny, you're gonna lose her one way or the other. Better now than down the road, right? I will not let you do this it's to It's not me. like you have a choice. All right. So the bodyguard, ceremony's gonna start. I want security. It'll be perfect. You got a boss. No one's gonna mess up anything for you, Miss Howard. I just got a feeling that Joe Jr. is going to try. Everything seems quiet. All guards are in position. Just want you to keep your eyes open because no one's going to get hurt here today. I will not let you do this it's to me. It's not like you have a choice. Lulu. What's going on? I just don't want anyone... I just don't want anyone or anything to interrupt the wedding, you understand? We got men positioned on the deck, on the pier. We got a couple of cars patrolling the area. There's no way Joe Jr. or anyone you've got any problems with is getting anywhere near this boat. What on earth are you doing here? 
Better question, what are you and Johnny doing here? What's going on? I was just telling your partner that if my wedding does not go according to plan, I will put your club out of business. Kate, I think you're... I still have contacts in the publishing world, and I'm in a position to cause a great deal of grief if it is warranted. Okay, everything has been arranged to your exact specifications. Mm -hmm. All we need is the bride. So do you need me to help you get dressed? Oh, no, I have plenty of time. As long as you hold up your end. Yeah, you made your point. It seems that your daughter is having it out with her husband. Long story short, she's not coming. Is that punk giving her a hard time? Well, she didn't go into details, but I think she's kind of getting the idea of who this guy really is. Well, she's coming to her senses. That's fantastic, right? That's great news, no? Right, see? Good. Okay, good. An annulment? Wouldn't that be a great wedding present? Be the best. No, as long as I can find my wife, I'd be happy with it. She's, uh, she's on her way. She's just doing some last-minute bride things. She'll be here in 20 minutes. Let's go. Have a hug. <laughs> so you know what the bride is going to get here when the bride is good and ready. You know mm -hmm. that. You've been married 500 times But this already, is not sorry. about me being a nervous groom. Yeah, it is. You're nervous. I, I can make... tell you're nervous. Alexis, I want to make Kate my wife because I, I want her to know she's safe, especially after I tell her that her son is alive and <sighs> his name's Trey Mitchell. Are you going to make time for a honeymoon at least? I want, to, I want us to have a lot of time for a honeymoon. I want us to be really happy. But... I think she's going to have to find out about Trey eventually, and I think the shock of that may send her into a relapse. So that's why I want to get married, so she knows that her husband is by her side. Sorry, I have another function to attend in an hour. We an really, hour? Yeah, we really need to get started. Okay, we're gonna get there. Let's see. Okay. Oh, oh. oh, no. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Stop doing this. Okay. Uh, I, I, I was just passing out or hors d'oeuvres. Do you guys want a scallion dumpling? Okay, you need to get Kate. Now, we gotta start. Oh, yeah, here. Oh, oh no, through. okay. No, Christina was... Watch it. Sorry. You're not excused. Great, I love the dress you picked. Yeah, considering the number of options you gave me. Okay, well, um, everyone's seated. The mm -hmm. judge is in place, Sonny's in place. Now mm -hmm. it's just time for the main event. It certainly is. Everyone, can I have your attention, please? Let's all take our seats. The wedding is about to start. We need the bridal party. <clears throat> Please be seated. Friends, family, we are here today to celebrate the marriage of Michael and Constanza, known to most of us as Sonny and Kate. <laughs> today they will formally and publicly make their promises to one another. And while this is indeed a special moment, marriage is just the beginning of the journey. Not the end. It's been my privilege to preside over many unions, and I've observed that while love doesn't necessarily conquer all, 
commitment does. The choice to be together, to work it through, and make it meaningful. That's what counts. Marriage requires trust. It requires patience. Constant, open, and honest communication. And above all, marriage requires faith. The faith to go forward without knowing what the future holds. And it requires the support of friends and family. <laughs> Now it's my responsibility to ask if there's anyone here who knows of any reason this couple should not be joined in marriage. Speak now or forever hold your peace. No one has any objections. Very well then. We will proceed with the ceremony. Wait, wait. I got something to say, Your Honor. Lilia. You got something to say? Yeah. Say it. Yeah. Not my this Kate time. Maybe it hasn't been like well. Huh? As I was saying, um, Kate, Kate is such a lucky girl, and she's really come full circle. Marrying Sonny, the very first boy she ever loved. Back when she was Connie from the neighborhood. And I wish her all the happiness in the world. Mm -hmm. You are? Can we just go? Of course. As there are no objections, we will continue. Wait! Milo. Do you. Do you have an objection with me marrying Kate? No. Milo just got caught up in the spirit of the occasion. I know that he wanted to wish you and the future Mrs. C many joyous returns of this day. Um, you're very deserving of all the happiness. Th thank you for letting me speak. No, that was fine. Um, okay, I'm glad that, you know, you're all happy for me, but this is a wedding. It's not a free-for-all, so can we just, can we just get it, get it going there? Uh, Mr. Corinthos, I certainly understand your eagerness to marry this beautiful woman, but given all these interruptions, I'm required to ask one last time. <laughs> does anyone here object to this union? As if she hasn't had enough drama. This doesn't bode well. This is not my fault. This is not my fault. This is not my fault. Okay, what are you doing? Judge asked if there were any objections. I have to be okay, truthful. Your Honor, I'm going to take my little bride to be. We're going to talk about so I want everyone to hear this, Sonny. Okay. I you... can't marry you. What are you? You okay? What are you doing? You want to talk to me? There's nothing you... more to say. Okay, you drop a bombshell on me and you tell me there's nothing more to say? Sonny, I cannot marry you because I'm already married. Anymore. Whatever's going on here, we'll fix it. There's nothing to fix. Your Honor, if I marry Sonny, I'm committing bigamy. Isn't that right? If you are indeed already married, yes. You're not married. I oh, yeah. I can't marry you, Sonny, because I'm already married. Whatever's going on here, we're, we're gonna fix it. There's nothing to fix. Your Honor, if I marry Sonny, I'm committing bigamy, isn't that right? If you are indeed already married, yes. You're not married. I am married. To him. She's lost her mind again. Right? What the hell are you talking about? You're married to Johnny? How can you be married to Johnny? Were you always a stupid? Oh. Wow. Pay attention to me, uh -huh. okay? Mm -hmm. We filled out the forms. Right. We filed the paperwork. We are legally wed. Right. This is crazy. I mean, she's obviously having another breakdown or, or an episode or Carly, something. Whoa, 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 just give me a second. Why would you marry Johnny when you hate him? 
Well, Kate hates Johnny. Well, lucky for everybody, she checked out of the bridal suite, right? Checked out? That's right. She stood you up at the altar, Sonny. Literally. I'm not Kate. I'm Connie. Kate was integrated. Oh, you mean Dr. Keenan? What a great shrink he turned well, out to be, She recovered huh? all her memories, and she doesn't need you anymore. No, you have it backwards. I don't need Kate anymore. See, I don't have to hide anymore, Sonny. Like I've been hiding for months, only coming out on certain occasions with certain people, like Johnny. What are you talking about? Go on, tell him, baby. Go on. Johnny and I had so much fun giving you a birthday present that, um... We've been hooking up ever since. Johnny, you need to stop this and tell us all that she's making this up. I mean it, Johnny. This has gone on long enough. Will you just tell us that she's lying? That, that's what uh, Connie does. That's what she lies. So she wants me away from Kate. So you, you want me away from Kate so bad that you're telling me you're sleeping with Johnny, I which is not true. I had to sit quiet for months while Kate was bleating her love for you, okay? I needed a little fun time with Johnny to keep going every day. Kate would have known if she was losing time, she would have talked to a therapist. Oh, Dr. Keenan? Yeah. yeah he was a little busy, Sonny. Even if I told her she was Connie, yeah, I should have believed you. Yeah, until right now, I wasn't sure I believed know. me. Well, if that explains the tequila shots and poop dreamers and the desperate desire to get a stripper. You couldn't have. Really Sorry, you okay? In the beginning, I didn't have a lot of time, so I did a little quickie here and there. But the more I did it, the stronger I got. So Kate can keep her therapy, Sonny. Because Johnny's the only thing I need to put Kate to sleep for good. Oh, you are... Fine, Connie. You've been here for months, skipping out of my bed, banging Johnny. Mm -hmm. Still doesn't explain to me... How you got married? She didn't. She's lying. Tell her, Johnny. Tell her. I'm sorry. Everything she said is true. Thank you. Everything Connie said is true? Everything? <gasps> Do you remember the ceremony? With the waves crashing against the boat and the, the smell of the sea air? See, that's what they call deja vu all over again. Do you remember when you were calling me and I didn't answer because you wouldn't leave me alone? That's because I was busy marrying the man of my dreams, which if you didn't notice, is not you. You really want me to believe that you married that son of a bitch? Yeah. Well, you want proof? Yeah, I want proof. Okay. Understandable. See, this is my marriage license. There you go. Oh, bride, Constanza Falconeri, groom, John Zakara. You expect anybody's going to believe this? Only in the state of New York. Oh, Alexis, come here. Tell me, is this real? It's real. That's what I've been saying. Thank you. So what was the point? Why did you walk down the aisle with me? Oh, well, you see, um, your birthday party, that was just the beginning. Having you eat dirt on your wedding day, that's the big finish. So tell me now, Sonny, how's it feel, huh? Now don't spare any details. I want you to tell my hubby and I every last humiliating detail, huh? We got you good, didn't we? Johnny. Uh -oh. Why did... Johnny! Hey. everyone, I would like to apologize. Sonny's weddings have a tendency to get a little off track. No apologies necessary. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. It's okay, boss. It's okay. We'll take care of the car later. Carly. Johnny. Here. Let me help you. Steve. You're a doctor. Get over here. I'm not here in a professional capacity. Excuse me? My husband is recovering from a gunshot wound. I want you to make sure there's no lasting damage. Don't worry, he'll live. He'll live? 
Oh, that's great. Thank you. Great bedside manner. Baby, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm better safe than sorry, because I'm going to take you home to bed. Although I don't imagine we'll get much sleep tonight. You're crazy. <laughs> they should have locked you up last time and not let you out. Hurts, don't it, Carly? To find the love of your life has been playing you for a fool. Is that what you've been doing, Johnny? Huh? Well, why don't you tell her, sweetie? Tell her how you couldn't wait to get away from her and come running to me. You're a bitch! I'm gonna make you pay for killing Cole and Hope. You understand me? Oh, whoa. Well, I thought you and me were good. Uh, forgive and forget. No, no, no. I forgave Kate. Because she was sick, I will never, ever forgive you, you oh, God. Let's just go. You don't have to be here. Let's go. Let's go. I'll make you pay, Connie. I will make you pay. What? 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 My husband's not gonna help me. I want you to kiss my boo boo. Seems like the least you can do after I got attacked for killing those two people. Feel good about yourself there, Johnny? Taking advantage of Kate? Knowing that she's mentally ill? This is why you want me to run away with you last night, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sorry, this turned into a disastrous hey, first date. Hey, Are you hey, kidding? This is the kind of first date you tell your grandkids about. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you committed to Shady Brook. I'm gonna fly in specialists from all over the world. I don't care what it takes, I'm gonna do it. The shrinks are gonna beat you down, Connie. Until Kate comes back to me. I don't know why you were in such a hurry to get married, because where you're going, you don't need a husband. Oh, that's the sonny I know and love. You big man, you snap your fingers, you expect the world to do whatever you want. What I want is for you to get help, Kate. And we're, you're gonna go to Shady Brook, and, that, and you're gonna get help. Well, there's you. just one problem with that. Genius. Only my husband can have me committed. And last time I checked, that's not you. You can even say. That's right. Only Johnny Boy can have me committed. And you're not going to do that, are you, baby? No, I'm not. So this is all true, huh? Carly, please. No, that's get... what you said. You said every single word out of Connie's mouth was true. So you've been sleeping with this skank since April, going behind my back. That's what you've been doing? Yeah. Son of a bitch. Hey, Carly. Looks like you're on your own, Connie. Oh, come okay. on. Connie's bluffing. There's no way she's been sleeping with Johnny since April because I've watched Kate. I've seen her progress. It's all a lie. But the marriage certificate isn't. It's legal as much as I wish it was. She was not in her right state of mind. Johnny was taking advantage of her, right? I get that, but he's the only one that has the power to have her committed right now, and I'm quite certain she knew that when she married him, right? Yeah, yeah trust me, there are many other reasons. Aside from Johnny's performance between the sheets, and not any flat surfaces, really. Okay. But I have to admit, being legally protected from involuntary commitment from Sonny was a major incentive. I mean, Johnny and me, we're just, um, we're a match made in heaven. You know, is that why Johnny boy hightailed it out of here to catch up with Carly? What about uh, Olivia? What, me? No, your blood relative. Are you kidding me? She's got a standing reservation in the loony bin. Oh, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. If you Olivia sure knew she was Connie before anyone else did. Alexis? Can she have her committed? It's possible it's she could be made Kate's guardian ad litem, but having Max and Milo drag her out of here involuntarily is not going to sit well with any judge. Okay. I could have told you that. Look. All right, thank you. A little bit. I thank you for coming, first of all. I know that it wasn't, you know, um, what I expected or hoped for. But I think the best thing is for everybody to just go ahead and leave. You sure that's a good idea? I want to be with her alone. I don't want to be alone with you. I don't care what you want to do, okay? Can we, can, yeah. get, can you get the guests out here? Okay, folks, thanks for coming tonight. Have a good night. Hey, 
Oh, no, I need, upset, no, 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 I need you to go. Okay, I got to speak to her privately. All right, Take. thanks a lot, guys. Don't do anything actionable in a court of law, please. Guys, it means you too. Yeah, Milo, I'm not sure I've introduced my, my date. This is Ellie. Pleased to meet you. Pleasure. Now, Milo. Come on, seriously. Maxie. Privacy. Yeah, yeah. Later, sunny boy. On second thought, how about never? No, how about you come over here? Uh You're not going anywhere. Let go of me, Sonny. Johnny, I need your help! Johnny's not here. It's just the two of us. So? So now what? What are you going to do? Huh? Listen to me. Kate. Get... I'm Connie. Okay. Okay? Okay. 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 Kate. I know you're in there, and you're stronger than she is, okay? Just fight. All you gotta do is fight. I will do anything I can to help you, because I love you. Just, just come back to me. than she is you can fight i'll give you whatever you need i love you okay come back to me Joe Jr. raped me. He let Kate get shot. So much for promises, right? Are well, you still here? What's the matter, Sonny? It's so hard to believe your all-consuming love wasn't enough to wake Kate up, huh? Kate beat you before. She's gonna do it again. Oh, well, whatever helps you through the night. Which is when supposedly you were sneaking around, Kate's guard was down, no one was paying attention, right? Yeah, gotta tell you. You are a sound sleeper. If that's true, why did it take you so long to, to take over? Mm. Wasn't the right time. And all of a sudden it is? I gave birth to a baby boy. And every time I looked at him, I saw Joe. So I loved him. I thought he died. Things changed. Such as? Such as Kate going on a permanent vacation when she found that her unwanted brat was still alive. Kate knew about Trey? Oh, yeah. You should have been there when she put two and two together. They were going at it. Something about uh, him marrying your daughter. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. And then I saw it. Saw so what? That medal hanging around that bastard's neck, the same one that Joe had when he raped me. That's when you came out? No, that's when I started paying attention. See? Because right. a couple minutes later, Kate realized her son survived dying in that dresser. Uh -huh. And she wanted to have one of these little family time talk show reunions with him. And that's when Kate reached out to Trey? Yeah. She told him everything. How she gave him up and everything in her life because of what Joe Jr. did to us. What did he say? Oh, he told her that she was making up the rape. That she was sick and he wanted nothing to do with her. Hugh freak out, that's when I step in. Yeah, well, that, that, Trey told me that, they, that she, he got in a fight with Kate. Oh, yeah, I love a little twerp habit. Told him I wish she'd never survived making it out of the boarding house. Felt really good to unload on him. And that's when you, re, you, 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 uh, you came out, when Kate found out about Trey? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ever since then, mm -hmm. and forevermore. If you've been in control since Kate found out about Trey, why the act? You mean, why not catch a flight yeah. out of here instead right. of putting up with you? Yeah. Well, 
I just thought showing my face at your wedding would be worth the risk. Why? Well, you know, I thought you ruined Kate's wedding, and why not ruin yours? It'd be too delicious to pass up. Mm. However, Kate did take a bullet, so I think you got off pretty good, huh? But there is still time. Not for you. Alexis is gonna come by, we're gonna have you committed, and Kate is gonna come back. Sonny, I know you're used to getting your way, uh -huh. and this is a very difficult concept for you to comprehend, but as I told you before, uh -huh. the only person that can commit me is my husband, which is not you. <gasps> Why don't we find out where my Johnny is? Maybe he'll make it better. We go warm up that wedding bed, huh? You're not going anywhere. Let go of me now! You're coming with me! No, I'm not! You cannot force me! The only one you're forcing yourself on is Kate! No, you got that backwards! Kate forced me to lie next to you! You hear you declare your love for her and make all these promises to protect her, which usually came right before you put her life at risk. You are a bully, and you are a pig. And she did not have the guts to kick you out. So I did. You can hate me all you want. But I'm not letting you go out there with Johnny Sakara. He's a rat. I don't. We will see what that rat has to say about that. Won't we? Johnny! Come here. Like Come. Stop it! No! Listen to me. You can scream all you want. It's not going to matter. When you're locked up, Johnny won't be able to find you. The cops won't be oh, able to. Oh, you big man. You're going to kidnap me now, Sonny? You're the one who killed the three-year-old little girl. Oh, Don't tell me. Shay. Okay, listen. This is not This is not what I wanted for you, okay? Hey. Oh, oh, Johnny. Johnny. She's trying to take me out of here. Will I can you see on it. Do something. Johnny. Please, do something. You want the alternative, Johnny? You do something! Johnny! Johnny! Stop. Sonny, Stop. get your hands off my wife or I'm calling the cops and having you booked on kidnapping, assault, and false imprisonment. Stop. Now! Come on, let's go. Johnny. Johnny. Come on. Don't do this. If you have any decency, if you're a man, you will move out of the way while I try to help a woman who was obviously sick. Shall we, husband? Sorry, Sonny. Can't help you. <laughs> 